Today in this video, we're going to be going over the VideoIntercom one key config feature. Now, this feature is only available for our new VTH2421F-P models. Um, everything's going to be done directly on the VTH's local interface. Now, um, VTHs do not have a web interface, so this has to be done locally. So we're going to switch over to the camera uh, that we have here, and we're going to go over the one key config feature. Uh, as you saw earlier uh, on the VDP config, which is our config tool to search for any video intercom devices on the network. Now in the switch I have the VTH and the VTO and we're going to be using the VTH to uh, initialize and configure the VTO. It, now the VTH does everything automatically so you just have to go in and touch it. So let's go ahead and uh, jump into the VTH and let's follow. So uh, as soon as everything boots up you're going to see the login screen and it's going to ask you for a language so we're going to go ahead and leave it on English. Hit OK. Password uh, for this video. I'm going to make everything really simple. So just one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Whoops. Now, email is required, so we're going to have to type in an email. And just for this video tutorial, I'm just going to do something simple just to go through it. Okay, so now it's going to go through the prompt and it's going to tell you, do you want to do a quick configuration, you're going to hit OK. Now we just initialized the VTH, so on the top right you're going to see that the status is already initialized. We need to initialize the VTO now. So we're going to go ahead and hit initialize. It's going to ask us to enter a password and this one is going to be a combination of letters and numbers. So we're going to do at least an eight numerical password. We're going to do admin123. Okay, uh, this one email is not required, but I would recommend it if, uh, in case you forget that your password or anything, you can get an email uh, temporary reset code. But just for this tutorial, we're going to leave it unchecked. We're going to hit OK, and that's going to initialize the VTO. So now what we need to do is hit Next, and here's where we do the configuration settings. So for the VTH, we want to make sure we hit Edit, and this is going to be the main VTH because right now we only have a one and one device. So uh, make sure that the local IP address is corresponding to the local network if it's going to be online. Um, if not, you can leave it default. Um, it's going to be 155 by default. We'll hit OK. And now we have the VTL, so we're going to have to do the same. We're going to have to go edit, and we're going to be setting this up as the main as well. So like I said, if it's going to be on the network, make sure the local configuration or the local network settings um, is configured properly. Uh, the video standard is going to be NTSC for the US and date and format. Normally we like to do month, date, and year here, so we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, we're going to do I'm going to do 24 hour format and the date. Today's date is 10 16 2020. Okay, and time right now is currently 2.59. So two oh well it's 24 hour format, so we're gonna be doing 14. 59. We'll hit OK. So once we hit OK, that's going to initialize the VTO. And we're pretty much done here. All we need to do is hit one key config. This is going to go through the settings and it's going to automatically do the whole uh, SIP configurations and uh, local configurations. So we're going to hit OK. Uh, once you hit OK, the, we're pretty much done. We hit cancel and uh, hit OK to cancel the configuration. Now, the VTO will reboot since we did some network changes. Once it reboots, you're going to see this top icon here that uh, shows a little VTO with the X icon. Once that disappears, you know the device is rebooted and uh, you should be able to communicate with it. So, uh, we're going to wait for the VTO to reboot. This one reboots fairly quickly, so uh, you'll hear it on the mic. And also another indication that you know that the device is rebooting is the tamper, uh, the tamper alarm. Yep. As you can hear, it goes off every single time it reboots. Okay, well, on the top right, you can see that the video icon, icon is gone. So what we can do, just to confirm that everything's working, is do a monitor. And we can go ahead and check the VTL. And the monitor should work, and there you see me waving my hands. We'll go ahead and go back. And the next step is pressing the call button. Once you press the call button, 
Oh, we're going to give it a little bit of time. Uh, typically, when the device reboots, you're going to want to give it about a minute or so uh, for everything to initialize properly. Uh, once you do, uh, about after a minute or so, once you hit the call button, it will go through. Uh, and again, sometimes you'll get a black screen. Just give it give it about a minute or two. Uh, once once the device is booted up and everything's configured and you know that one key configured did its job, then you'll you'll finally see that the functions are working. In this case, it looks like the uh, setup came in through flawlessly and it's pretty quick. You see the video and everything's done. Cool. Anyways, that is the one key config feature. Pretty simple. Um, shouldn't be too difficult to set up. Anyway, have a good one.